black or Indian or what? Native American or black. Don't you see that? Doesn't even matter. Y'all consider everybody of color black. You can consider everybody of color black. Everybody that. I don't. I've lived around the world, ma'am. I know a little better. Okay, if you don't consider color, then why does it matter? What matters? Why does the statue matter? If it hurts somebody, you just made your own point. Maybe you hurt my feelings. Maybe you hurt my feelings. How does an inanimate object? How does an inanimate object? You don't have to scream. How does an inanimate object affect your feelings? No, that's your whole lie. That's the whole lie. That's my point. That if it doesn't hurt your feelings, then why are you here? It's our history and culture of our South. If you don't like the South, if you don't like the South, you came from. If you don't like the South, I came from the South. I was born in New Orleans. This is my city. I was born here with tax pay. I was born here. Are you a tax pay? It's an inanimate object. It means it's our history, it's the history and culture of the South. If you don't like the South, move. Don't leave it. That's right. If you don't like the South, move. I mean, this is the South. People pay taxes. This young man, you pay taxes? Huh? Oh, you know, you know where slavery was first made legal in America? Was it Maine or Massachusetts? Yeah, the top of my head. Boston. First, slave laws were, were, why were legislated. Why does the fact that white supremacy existed in the North excuse white supremacy existing anywhere? It, it doesn't. No Our black for supremacy. white supremacy. There's no white supremacy. Indian supremacy or whatever kind of supremacy. We had a pre we had a black wrong. president for the past eight wrong. years. There's no black. There's yeah. no white supremacy. So, so, That's right. Get over I, it. I, you, <laughs> you got a real problem here. All right. Um, where was slavery first outlawed in America? Virginia, Jamestown, where else? The Carolinas and Georgia, the entire South had outlawed slavery, while the North promoted slavery. That's how it all started, by the way. And about 10 blocks from here is Orleans Parish Prison, where what's essentially slavery still happens today. And oh, God. So what does it matter? So when you go to jail, you're a slave? I mean, you just said you Orleans the Parish Prison, there's I mean, slavery the going on in there? Well, slavery is still legal if you're convicted of a crime. So in other words, if you're convicted of a crime, you can't go to jail. Okay. If you're convicted of a crime, no, he makes, he makes wait, an slavery is legal uh, under the 13th Amendment. So in other words, oh, well, I, okay, what should you do with criminals? Put them in jail or turn them back loose so they can come shoot you? Maybe shoot you. Is that what they're going to do? project was torn down and replaced by a mixed income apartment development. With the people from the projects having the first priority to move back if they chose to. And about a quarter of them live there now because they replaced it with a lot of your units. Because they found a better life where they evacuated to, such as Houston and other areas. Yes, I do. Lived here my whole life. You don't, you don't, you're not from here. You're from Texas. I've known people who moved to my high school from New Orleans who wanted to go back. And why couldn't they go back? Because they couldn't afford to. Okay, so what does that have to do about slavery and white supremacy? Everything. So because that they couldn't afford to move back to New Orleans after Katrina took place, the reason that they couldn't move back is because of slavery and white supremacy? Is that what you're saying? That's what you're saying. That makes no sense. The average black family in America has one-tenth the wealth of the average white family. Well, I mean, is that... Is that uh, it, the, the, the average black family in the United States, they don't go to school, and they don't want to learn anything. A lot of black people go to school, sir. Well, I know a lot of people go to school, too, but they're not... They're not the majority in the city in New Orleans. You can bet on that. The majority of school children in the city of New Orleans are black. I ran a garment factory at 500 people. I know a lot. I know a lot about black people. Marx was totally in favor of the war, and he was totally in favor of. He has no idea. He does, he's not in the real world. He's not in the real world, poor fellow. It's sad. It really is. He's being a state attorney general. For him to come out here and stand here with the sign. 
and he's not getting paid, then he's got to be a moron. We're here because of history. But this guy. No courage in this matter. It's also about freedom and liberty. If, if we keep giving government.